Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 126, part 2. Hey, if you didn't watch 126, this one's not going to make any sense, so go watch that one first. Hey, the YouTuber that asked to do this, we went ahead and built a template based on uh, the VLOOKUP indirect and column, uh, but these are listed in rows, and he wanted to list them in columns. So let's see how to do that here. We're basically going to have to use the row function instead of the column function. I'm going to highlight all those cells, and in the active cell right at the top, I'll do our VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this hand moves, and you want to lock it going down but not across the side, comma, and we'll use our indirect function to get this table, as we talked about in the earlier video, we need to lock that in all directions. So I'll lock it using the F4 key, close parentheses, comma, and here's the difference. Instead of column, we'll use row. Now, we have to be careful here. We're orientated in row 10 right now. So if I was to do this, it would give me row 10. I want 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 8. So if I just say A2 here, that will give me a 2. And as I copy it down, I'll increment to 3, and then 4, and then 5, all the way to 8 comma, and then the range lookup, as we talked about before, is 0 because we're looking up an exact match. Now I'm going to control enter. Now as we saw, or, well, let's increase the column width. So I'm going to highlight those columns and then double click between any columns, zoop, and it will best fit. And as we talked about in the last video, we had some zeros that we didn't want to hide. We could do this with formulas or formatting. Here we did it with formatting. Let me show you how to do it with a formula here. I'm going to hit F2, and I will do it in the 2003 method, so it will work in all versions. I'll highlight this whole little thing right here, Control-C, and then I'll click right before the equals, but after the equals, but before the V, and type if, open parentheses. And that whole thing right there, I'm just going to click on the end for the true-false, and I'm going to say if that equals 0, that's the true-false. It either equals 0 or it doesn't comma. If it equals 0, then what do I want? I want to put blank, double quote, double quote. Otherwise, if it's not 0, control V, which will give me that the value. Now, if you're using 2007, you can use the if error instead of if, if error, and that's a little bit shorter. All right, control, and then enter to populate all the cells, and that will work. The So that's how to do it in a um, column orientation instead of a uh, row orientation and how to turn the zeros on and off with a formula. Hey, uh, pay attention because I'm going to do another little part for this 126 too. See you next trick.